Well, thank you very much, Bill. As you viewers know, there is absolutely no secret about the fact that Muhammad Ali, or Cassius Clay, as you will, has become one of the most controversial personalities in this entire country. It remains, however, co-equally a fact that the heavyweight champion of the world is an integral part of the whole wide world of sport. And he proved it all over again this past Tuesday night in Toronto's Maple Leaf Gardens when he successfully defended his heavyweight crown against George Shavalo. And so, Mohammed, we welcome you back to Wide World of Sports. Thank you, Howard. I'm very glad to be here. And what we're going to do is, as we did after the Patterson bout, we're going to analyze out together, but you in the main, the bout against Shavalo. Right. How Concentrate on winning the fight. And Almost. That's, that's right. <laughs> the head that impeded our vision before was that, and there it is again, of Irving Ungerman, the manager of George Shavala. See, he's wiping the sweat off of us because we really sweat. <laughs> Throwing them at your teeth. Angie Dundee, your trainer manager, and Solomon McTeer, one of your handlers, are the others around. Uh, as soon as the fight started, I knew that the fellow's tough because Patterson, but my strategy was just to stick and move and fill him out. His face right now is perfectly clean. Now he's giving it to you in the midriff. Was uh, he hurting you? Well, not really, but what you a lot him? of times. What did you just <laughs> tell him? I told him he should hit a little harder than that. <laughs> now I just connected with a left hand and a right. Like I was playing with him, but I wasn't. It was just something to make him tire himself out with punching and all the work. and. It Still, he out. kept coming at you. He established right. that pattern in the first round and kept it up. Well, he won't back up. I knew it would have, too, because it's rather strenuous, you know, in the boxing ring with fairway 214. Mm -hmm. So you knew you were slower going mm -hmm. into a the fight. A little slower, right. Now, did he hurt you there at all? You can hear the crowd no, roar. not really, but the few body punches, I think one's coming up now. There, that was a low blow. And uh, I feel those a little. That was another one. Go for the body, but uh, he didn't leave the opening that I thought he would. I tried to knock him out for the first seven rounds, but I couldn't. That's another low blow. You really tried to knock him out? Yes, for the first seven, but after that, I just said, that's right. I thought he was throwing a lot of body punches, but most of them hit the side of my arms. And a few low blows, too. But I had a good piece of protection on, and that's the only thing that really saved me. Mm -hmm. In other words, you feel without. And here's where you begin to tag him with flurry upon flurry. Remember this? Right. But he could take it. That was the end of round three, and you threw that disdainful motion. Well, I was right. a little angry at all of those low blows he was he was throwing, and no one saying nothing. And it is illegal, and the referee and all the crowd of fourteen thousand, no one booing him mm -hmm. for it. And, and as hard as I could, but he just wouldn't go. You just have to give him credit. Some people just don't have feelings, or more than others. <laughs> That was one of those graze punches that looked good from the audience, but it didn't do no damage. Why'd you lead with a right then? Well, I just saw a little opening, so I just took advantage of it. There, I believe he tagged me with a hook right there, and uh, immediately I clinched him. Action-packed fight, and I understand it's the first 15-round fight since Marciano, and I think as a Charles. Mm-hmm. And there, I barely got away from that one. Do you think you lost this round? No, I, I believe I won this round. I'm hitting him about five times to every one that he hits me. But you didn't complain to referee Silvers, huh? No, I didn't. I didn't complain. Why not? Well, I really didn't have time to. The punches, they hurt a little, but it wasn't really enough to uh, stop me. 
But I was hitting him so regular, I figured that he should be hurting more than me. <laughs> But I have to say, he was determined. How many blows did he take for every one he landed? Mm, I would say about six. Or he took them when like they hurt more the worst. This round. I think this round, the way your the way the fight went for the next several. A man uh, goes for your body because he he have to lower himself to come down, and his head is in your reach. Why not? Well, he's a nice fellow. He didn't say too much. Well, uh, how I would say the ninth round, I was uh, felt real tired. But after the ninth round, I uh, got what we call a sock and win in sports. And the 14th and 5th was riding on me winning. And once you lose, that's it. Left and right and left and right. Two, three combinations there. All right. Yeah. There you see my trunks are low again, and my protection cup is showing because his body punches are pulling, pulling my trunks down. But I imagine that was the uh, thing to make me fight hard. <laughs> Seems to me that George is lunging at this point. And George is taking everything that I can find. As you notice, I had to back up and watch him because he really surprised me. Uh, speed to just uh, tag me in the face. So uh, nine out of the ten times, that one punch can really hurt you. And uh, mm -hmm. you have a way of knowing what the time is. You said right now he tagged. Mm -hmm. I hit him with a few good ones. And I figured that was my round, but you, some people who don't understand the art of boxing can say it was close, but I figure I won that round. I would hit him with a right cross and a left hook, another left jab, and he just missed the hook. He missed another hook. And... You're trying to show that you're not tired. Well, you have to look impressive because the judge are watching. And I was a little tired. I was really tired, but uh, professionals have a way of making it look like they're not. I remember going in right, right there. Did he catch you then? Yes, he caught me with a right hand. He caught me with another right hand. I caught him with a left, but I missed the right. And I hit him with a few hooks, but they were soft. That was a solid left right hand. And if it, there, I just hit him with a hook, and he caught me with something. I couldn't see it. Some fella told me that in my dressing room after the fight, but he was a friendly fella. After the fight, he came over and shook my hand. I shook his, and there was no time there in Toronto. Everybody treat me nice. Mr. Uh, Harold Ballard, who let us have the boxing arena, wrote Well, it's over now. Well, you had all doubtful. There you see Herbert Muhammad in the ring, the president of Maine Bout, and Samuel Saxon, mm -hmm. my brother and all of my uh, boys in this. I think you have to answer to the American people in this vein. Are you sorry for any of the things you have said? Do you have any apologies to make? Only to the people who were hurt financially, not me in what I've said, and the people that uh, who wanted to promote the fights, who had things that they wanted to do, who didn't get to do them. But me, myself, I don't. I feel the same that I've always felt about anything. Mm -hmm. And I'd be less than a man to sit here on your TV show and deny it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to shake your hand. I'm going to thank you for coming by. I'd like the viewers to see this hand just before we say goodbye. This is a swollen, badly bruised, maybe even broken knuckle from the fight. No, it's not broke, Howie. I know it's not broke. but They're going to put a, a little, brace on it. It's just a little bruise. It happens after all of my fights. That's mm -hmm. all. The more famous you get, the more emphasis they put on it. That's all it is to it. Take care of yourself. You're welcome. Same to you.